Behind these blurs, some mean, offensive, and even racist messaging. Tonight, what happened to a Jefferson County man's home to be, causing some people to be wide eyed and angry. That man also has children, and he says they're very upset by this act of vandalism. News 4's Russell Kinsaw is near Hillsboro tonight with the story all new at 6. Russell? So right now I'm on Stonebridge Estates Drive. It's a pretty rural, secluded area. See that gravel drive over there? The house that was vandalized is down a long gravel driveway. So the homeowner the, said that the vulgar racist graffiti was a real shock to his system. By the way, he is white, but he says he's more concerned about the impact that's had on his children. For a few seconds, thought that uh, you know I'm just seeing things, or you know that just that couldn't happen to me, right? Last week, yeah, Jordan uh, Wilson drove up to the new home he's building near Hillsboro and found it covered in red spray painted graffiti. Some of the graffiti was racist. It really, it really infuriates me. Um, really bugs me. We didn't let our kids out there until we got it cleaned up. They don't, uh, they don't know that language. They've never seen it. There was red paint all over the house. Some vulgar words and images and several windows were broken. The vandalism has spooked Wilson's children. Our children, you know, they're, they're, you know, they're kind of fearful now. They're scared that, you know, these guys could come back when, when we're there. There's another house nearby under construction. Workers said they didn't see anything suspicious last week and haven't had any problems at their job site, but are also outraged about what happened. It's a shame. I mean, in my opinion, I think it's kids, but you never know. The Jefferson County Sheriff's Office is investigating the crime, and Wilson is offering a $10,000 reward. To damage something that you've, you've worked hard for, that you know that you've, you've paid your money for. We've got a lot of blood, sweat, and tears out there in clearing the land. Most of the graffiti has been cleaned off, and Wilson has a message for the vandals. I believe in second chances. Um, you know, I believe that uh, people should get a second chance, but I would really like a an apology and really. You know, for them to understand the kind of the fear again they put into our kids, like that's just it's just not cool. And so Jordan Wilson said if there's any silver lining to all of this, it's seeing all of the good people who've come forward, some people he's never met before, offering to help clean off the graffiti. Live in near Hillsboro, Russell Kinsall News 4. Russell, thank you. There is 